today I will be talking about the introduction of entrepreneurship. According to Higgins, entrepreneurship is supposed for the function of seeing investment and production opportunity, organizing an enterprise to undertake a replacement production process, raising capital, hiring labor, supplying raw materials, discovering site, introducing, introducing new commodities and skills, finding new sources of raw materials, and selecting top managers for day-to-day operation of the enterprise. Entrepreneurship is essential for many reasons, from advertising social change to making innovations. Entrepreneurs are frequently thought of as national assets to be cultivated, motivated, and remunerated to the best possible extent. Great entrepreneurs have the pliability to change the way we live and work on local and national basis. They also create jobs and contribute to a growing economy. Additionally, new products and services made by entrepreneurs can produce a prolonged effect where they stimulate related businesses or sectors that require to help the new venture furthering economic involvement. Similarly, future development efforts in other countries need sturdy logistic support, capital investment, and certified workforce. From the highly qualified programmer to the development worker, entrepreneurship benefits an outsized part of the economy. Entrepreneurial ventures help making new wealth. Existing businesses may remain confined to existing market and will hit a limit in terms of income. New and enhanced products, services, or technology from entrepreneurs enable new markets to be evolved and new wealth to be made. The relationship between entrepreneurship and an economic development is vital to grasp for policymakers and business owners. Understanding the advantages and disadvantages of the entrepreneurship allows a balanced approach to nurturing entrepreneurship to be taken, which may lead to a positive economic and social impact. Our entrepreneur background, um, we chose uh, Miss Honey as our uh, entrepreneur. Uh, her name uh, is Nur Hani Adilah binti Ismail, a 25 years old female. Uh, her father's name is Ismail bin Sa'ad, her mother's name uh, is Salihah binti Ismail and uh, born uh, in 28 September 1996. Um, the uh, origin is at Kepala Batas, uh, Pulau Pinang and um, Miss Hani is a Malay and a Muslim. Okay, the owner of By the Street Cafe, Miss Hani, uh, she always wanted to start her own business since she was 18 years old. Miss Hani was a graduated student uh, in food technology course from University Science Malaysia. Food technology is the application of food science to the selection, pre- preservation, packaging, distribution and use of safe food. This uh, discipline encompasses how products change under certain food uh, processing techniques and ways either to enhance or to prevent them from happening. Miss Honey used the advantages as a graduate student in food technology to start her own business. She started her own business by opening a cafe. Miss Honey applied all the knowledge that she has studied, she has learned to her business. She also expanded her knowledge uh, by attending business workshop. So she will get familiar uh, with the business activity. Attending a workshop may provide a professional with some of the most important opportunities. Professional can create um, new relationship, make ties with like-minded individuals and even get to know clients and vendors on a personal basis by attending a workshop in addition to learn uh, new skills. That's how Miss Honey, uh, that's why Miss Honey attend the workshop. Um, moreover, leisure ex- experiences are important in people's life uh, because they offer relief and new energy after a long day of work. People may pursue a range of hobbies based on their interests and desires. Some interests to one surprise are also a decent uh, opportunity for people to open up a business. Miss Honey loves to cook. So, she applied her skill and talent to open a cafe. There are many choices of food and beverage such as flavored chicken, popcorn, cheesy wedges, spaghetti, ice blended, fresh drink and yogurt. Uh, and yogurt. All the recipes are all by Miss Honey. Miss Honey used premium cheese as the attraction for her customer at the cafe. 
it is very effective actually to attract customer because the customer keep uh, repeat their orders. Next, uh, entrepreneurs should plan for the future by considering the effect they want. Uh, they want their organization to have and figuring out how to get there. Miss Honey, uh, at the very first day handling her business, uh, she observed the customer's number of orders by producing the dishes little by little to avoid waste of food. She planned everything carefully before she started her business. Miss Honey also communicate and get along well with all the suppliers so that she can get a very affordable price for the raw materials. Before she can hire almost uh, five workers, her living parents assist her. Uh, the, uh, her parents help her with the business. Miss Honey was able to comfortably uh, handle the financial, financial aspect of the business thanks to her father's experience in the sector. Miss Honey used to frequently assist her father in his business, his previous business, so she has the necessary expertise to start her own. Today I want to talk about company background. Company background is important to all companies because uh, from company background, we can know about the detail, uh, detail about that company, like how the company build what the product the company provide and others. The company that my team chose is by the Street Cafe. This cafe is established in June 2020. Uh, this cafe provide the sweet snack food like dessert and ice blended. Reason, the reason of this cafe named like that because the location of this cafe are beside the street. The real located of this cafe is at Kepala Batas, Pulau Pinang. The type of this cafe is sole proprietorship. This type only have a one owner host for this cafe is Miss Honey. Miss Honey is manage this cafe in all aspects like the management, promotion, and human resources. She built this cafe with her own money, her saving, uh, and brought some, and also brought from her parents. The customer target from this company are from 10 years old until 29 years old. In management, she decided to open her cafe at Tuesday until Thursday and at 12 afternoon to 6.30 pm. She also managed in raw material and always try to get a good quality of that material. In promotion, she create some application that she can promote at their like a WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram. She also registered this freedom. cafe under in under Tapa Food and provide Le cash on delivery. The it's called COD. In human resources, she decided to employ the two staff. Before the pandemic COVID-19 happened, she have a five staff. But when this situation happen right now, she decide and she made the decision to take only two staff because her cafe have some financial problem. Before Lila started her business, she was work as a kitchen crew in a cafe named Peixe Cafe. Peixe Cafe is a famous Korean street food and food in Pulau Pinang, owned by a young entrepreneur from Adila. Besides that, Adila also used to be a beauty consultant for a famous cosmetic product, which is Mary Kay. Through Mary Kay, Adila learned a little bit about business since Mary Kay provides a free business class for all of their beauty consultants. Adila also used to sell hijabs before but not for so long as she didn't have much knowledge about business at that time. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, 
week, I didn't realize that she needs to find a way to make money on her own, and she determined to open a cafe. The owner of Bay Shade Cafe went by the really inspired idea to be a successful entrepreneur, and she is a woman right now. From her little many things like how to manage a cafe, how to create a supplier, and how to manage stocks. The reason why I did not choose Point Varilla as a role model is because Point Varilla has a very good attitude. She doesn't mind to share her secret of her success in business to everyone. Also, she is a brave and determined person. She is willing to take risks in everything she did. She is also independent and mature in making decisions. Adila has interested in the business since a child. Her first business was when she was in Standard 4 by selling a custom-made bracelet. She also used to sell sweets by the window of her house. At that time, she just did the business for fun and to fill up her free time. But after that, she became more interested in business. She also made many other small businesses since her child. From that experience, she built an entrepreneurial behavior in healing herself that make her be a successful entrepreneur now. Actually, I have been thinking about opening a cafe since 18 years old, but she needs to postpone her intention as she wants it to pursue her study first. Adela's father wants to run a small business when she was a child, so she learned a little bit about business from her father, such as on how to manage an account, calculate the cash flow, and how to manage a business. Her mother also ran a small business by selling cakes. Since both of her parents are an entrepreneur, the entrepreneur behavior are filled within herself. That makes her spirit to be a successful entrepreneur never die within herself since she was a child. Uh, today, I want to tell about the entrepreneur at the time she started the venture. First of all, she dreamed to have her own business since primary school uh, and she uh, want to start the business because she get motivation from her old boss. Uh, she liked the way her boss handled a business a business. Second, she make a business plan so that she has a good track. She consult about her business plan with her father, which is has a business her, his own business in the past. She always prepare a plan B if her plan her first plan is not going well. Next is uh, her goal. Her goal is to open a big cafe that can provide, uh, um, uh, provide more space to his her customers, so that she wants her customer to feel happy if they come to her cafe because uh, a unique design and a, a proper space to them. So, uh, if we want to open a business, a new business, so we have a final resource. So, for the entrepreneur, she get uh, the finance resource from her family. She get help from her family about finance and workforce. Her family is a biggest helper in her life. She also get help from her old boss. Her boss give her uh, fans, uh, tables, and chair uh, when he she wants to start start the business. Uh, another important thing, if we open a business, is taking risks. She faced many risks while she wants to open the her own business. First, uh, she does not have uh, enough work workers or enough workforce. Uh, so every order that she gets, she make it by herself, and sometimes she get help from her family. Another risk that uh, she gets is sometimes she doesn't get any order because uh, people surrounding not recognize yet about her business. 
uh, but every risk that she faced uh, that happened to her she faced it uh, bravely and she confident that she will become success Alhamdulillah, dia pun sangat support lah Sebab macam 
ada boleh buka kedai dan mungkin family kata apa? Uh, family mungkin tak suka sebab better cari pekerjaan lah cari kerja yang lebih stabil so that macam lebih secure lah untuk dapat gaji setiap bulan tapi bagi tu aku tak suka benda tu kau suka ambil usaha bila kau uh, bekerja sendiri ni tak tahu hasil usaha tu daripada dia sendiri so kalau aku rasa perhatian uh, aku rasa perhatian lah kita bekerja tu kita uh, kurang kurang berfikir kurang berfikir tak berkembang tak berkembang so, kita okay. tak akan ambil risiko apa-apa pun so macam kita takutlah dengan nak ambil nak buat suatu keputusan so dah bila adalah kata-kata yang agak negatif tapi tak apa let let, let them say <laughs> so kita buat je kerja kita sudah hmm. bagi kak lah bagi mak selamat sendiri okey kak untuk untuk yang perkembangan kedai ni kan ada tak kau uh, ambil satu kesalahan kau tu jadikan sebagai lek like, macam panggil apa dorongan disebabkan uh, kesalahan tu menyebabkan kau macam okey aku kena kena lebih macam tabah lagi lah uh, ada uh, dia macam mana uh, kesalahan tu mungkin uh, daripada kita salah pilih kerja ke satu bila kita macam bila kita dapat kita harapkan kerja tu dapat buat dengan sebaik mungkin tapi tak eh so dia macam okey ni uh, ni yang aku belajar waktu ni so that in future kalau aku nak ambil kerja aku kena at least ada ada panggil apa macam guideline kita lah so uh, so that kita dapat kerja yang memang betul-betul yang kita nak uh, tu lah hantu betul buat kerja tu lah betul yang buat kerja so kita tak ada lah kes macam bila kita nak buat kerja pun, kita dah work satu team kan So bila ada seorang yang uh, berperangai begini So hmm. macam kita tak suka lah, tak mahu lah terjadi Bad attitude lah ha, Bad attitude lah So in future kita macam ambil ni sebagai salah satu uh, progression step lah So tak mau ambil, uh, kalau di sini tak mau ambil So bagi tak macam uh, kerja yang bad attitude tu ha, macam the worst moment untuk kak lah The worst moment hmm. Sebab kan dia yang akan handle kedai So bila kita bagi kepercayaan kat dia Dan dia macam tak ambil peluang dengan betul-betul So apa jadi dengan bisnes kita pun bergantung pada dia juga Haa hmm. Okay untuk yang ni untuk saya sebagai pelajar Di Mesti Malaysia Kelantan hmm. Yang mengambil subjek entrepreneur ni kan Dan juga group member saya enam uh, orang lain Apa? Apakah uh, ada tak nasihat yang kau nak bagi kat kami semua ni sebagai seorang pelajar yang ingin uh, memulakan bisnes perniagaan sendiri in the future. Okey, uh, nasihat lah nasihat, nasihat. Uh, atau nasihat ya untuk kalau student lah dulu pun kau pernah juga buat. So apa yang kalau berminat betul-betul berminat so bahagikan masa dengan sebaik mungkin. Uh, dengan study, imbangkan lah Maksudnya kita akan dapat dua-dua Kalau kita betul-betul imbangi masa kita And plan masa kita And insyaAllah kalau uh, Berhasil uh, Kita dapat kan Kita dapat duit uh, so, tu je lah. Dua dalam satu, dua dalam satu. Uh, Pengalaman pun dapat juga uh, pengalaman. So pengalaman ni tak boleh dibeli dengan duit So kita kena, kena try, cari sendiri uh, juga. Try, Kena terukar. explore Explore bidang bisnes yang sangat luas dan sangat menarik ni Itu <laughs> je lah Itu je Okay, sekian sahaja daripada saya Nurfatih Azhara dan juga owner Kedai By The Street By The Street So, bye <laughs>
should have the right attitude such as able to work without supervision, self-motivate, focus, open mind, and many more. This will give a good vibe into the um, profession and or into the area of work. Other than that, there is also a time when we need to take risks on many occasions. Taking a risk can be good, where sometimes it will return the profit in terms of investment or anything else that's efficient and profitable. On the other side, risk also has a chance of us to lose all the investment that we had made such as money or buying stock in the market or anything else. To counter this problem, risk management is essential to provide a better solution. It involves identifying, analyzing, and taking steps to reduce or eliminate the exposure to loss faced by the organization or by the company. Side, Wise decision from the entrepreneur itself to give a major impact into the company or the organization. As the entrepreneur, we need to think wise on how to take a decision that will impact our career and end our work. Finally, it is important for us to make preparation and gain significant knowledge in order to achieve a successful career in life. Within the accomplishment, we will have a better future and a better life.